Welcome to the Procreate Sculpting Tutorial by Engraver Hand. So first of all, you obviously need to draw up a design. I was drawing this up front to save a little time, and it's better to draw only the outlines of the design first without any details, because we are going to fill the design later, and it will fill better without too many details. It's very important before we fill the design to close all open gaps, and even to make some thin lines more thick. It's also good to clean up small imperfections. Now we are ready to fill the design. Go to the layer menu and duplicate the outline and select the bottom layer and drag the color into the design. You can adjust the strength of the fill by moving the pencil to the left and right. Try making it as strong as possible without filling the whole page. Now select the layer you just filled and tap Alpha Lock and find a nice color to work with. I usually start with a kind of dark beige as it's easy to see shadow and lights. You can either drag the color onto the design or use the fill brush to color it like I'm doing here. You can see now the outline is becoming visible again as we are changing the color on the layer below. And you can select the outline layer and add some more folds and details we can use as a reference when we add lights and shadows. When you have all the details, tap the layer with two fingers and turn down the opacity so the outline and details are barely visible. Now create a new layer and name it Light. And then another layer and name it Dark, as we are going to work on two different layers. The light parts on one, and the dark parts on the other. Now find a soft brush for the smudge tool the tool that looks like a hand with a pointing finger. I have developed a brush I'm going to add to the Engraver Hand Procreate brush pack, but any soft brush will work fine. I like to put the size of the smudge tool a bit small, and I put the opacity quite low. Also, I like to put the background a little dark so you can see better the lights and shadows. Now choose the layer you named Dark and select a black color and start drawing some lines where you want the shadows. They don't have to be very accurate because we are going to smudge it out. Now select the smudge tool and start to smudge the lines out and create soft shadows. Play a little with size and opacity for best results. Don't worry if you drag the color a little outside the design, as we are easily going to remove that later. Now select the light layer and a light color and do the same thing. Obviously where the light is coming from and start smudging the color out.
have to switch back and forth between the light and dark layer to get the desired effect. Remember to keep the light and the dark colors on separate layers. You could use the same layer, but it would make a lot more hassle with details and to fix imperfections. that are outside. Select the layer with the fill design. Make sure automatic is selected in the selection tool. You can choose the strength of the selection by swiping the pencil to the left or right. When the design is selected, you will see the rest is kind of grayed out. Now tap the layer with the dark shadows and use three fingers to swipe down and you will get a pop-up menu. Select cut paste and you will see that it was cutting out only the part you selected and created a new layer below with the extra colors that were outside. You can delete that layer and your dark shadings should be more clean. Repeat the same process for the light layer. And then just a little touch up to fix small issues. I forgot to say this, but I often turn off and on the layer with the outline and details to see how sharp my shading is. When the design is finished, I always keep it off, as it was only meant as a guide for the light and shadows. If you have my engraver hand Procreate brush pack, you have a brush called the Gold Texture Brush. Select the filled design and duplicate it. Make sure the alpha lock is switched on color it black. Either by dragging the color or using the fill brush. Then choose a nice gold color and select the gold texture brush and start painting it. Don't lift the pencil while coloring and by swiping it around you see you can change the texture a little. If you think the texture is too strong, repeat the process. When happy with the texture, go to the adjustment menu and select hue, saturation and brightness and play with color strength, light or darkness, and even change color. Make it copper, bronze, green gold or what you prefer. If you think the shadows and light have too little contrast, you can duplicate the layers and tap the layer with two fingers to adjust the opacity. Play with it till you have a result you like. The last thing I do is to duplicate the filled bottom layer and make it black. Then I turn off alpha lock and use Gaussian blur from the adjustment menu to make the design pop a little. And then we 
we are done. Hope you enjoyed and feel free to ask any questions in the comment field below. Thanks for watching.